Hi, in this lesson, we'll take a look at some of the more commonly used Bootstrap components. Bootstrap components are prepackaged user interface elements such as buttons, icons, and tables that we can use on our pages. The Bootstrap CSS framework comes with a variety of pre-built components that you can use on your website. Buttons are a common component on web pages that allow users to interact with content and navigate to other items. Bootstrap is also one of several resources where you can obtain icons for a variety of web applications and sites. Styled page headers are another component included with Bootstrap. Other components include special stylized buttons, menus, navigation bars, and image carousels. There are so many different Bootstrap components that are very useful in different situations, and there's way more than we can cover in this course. In this lesson, we'll go in depth with buttons, icons, and page headers. For a full list of components and example code, visit the Bootstrap docs and select components from the side menu. Bootstrap provides pre-made CSS classes that style any anchor tag or button tag as professional looking buttons. Here's an example of a styled button in different states as the user hovers and clicks on it. Adding the button default Bootstrap class uses the default styling and size. Adding the button large Bootstrap class to the default button enlarges the button. Changing the button large class to button small creates a small default button. We can even make the default button extra small by adding the button extra small class. In this example, you can see two different div tags. The first indicates that the row bootstrap class should be used to align the button in a row. The second div tag extends the bootstrap grid system and puts the buttons into a 12 column layout. Each anchor tag also includes two bootstrap classes. The first class calls on the button component. The second class styles the button with one of the six primary button types in Bootstrap. This code produces the buttons shown here at the bottom. You'll have an opportunity to explore more Bootstrap button styles in this lesson. Buttons can also be grouped together. Let's take these three buttons and combine them. By placing the three anchor tags inside of a div tag with the Bootstrap class button group, we can join these buttons together. There's even a button group vertical Bootstrap class that allows you to join the three buttons vertically. Grouped buttons can also be justified to extend evenly across the div tag element using the button group justify bootstrap class. The page header class helps appropriately space out sections of the page by adding a horizontal line and some padding. Take this page header example with a heading and a smaller subheading. Placing each header inside a div tag, we can add the page header bootstrap class to style each one with a horizontal line below it. Icons are created by adding an icon tag with a class for the proper icon. It's important to remember that in order for Bootstrap icons to work with icon tags, you must ensure another style sheet link is included in your site's head tag. So make sure that the style sheet link below is in your page's head tag to use Bootstrap icons. In this example, we use the i tag with a Bootstrap icon class of bi bi bug fill to display a filled bug icon on the web page. When using the iTag with icons, you must remember to close the tag. To add text beside the icon, either on a button or a menu on a web page, we close the iTag and then add the text after it. Here's an example of placing the icon and text within a button tag that uses the large primary button style. Now that you know a little more about some of the primary bootstrap components, let's take a look at some examples in the editor. Okay, so here we are in the editor and we already have some HTML written for us. You can see we have a header here at the top. We have a bell icon with some text here in the middle. And then down here at the bottom, there's a link to get to more bootstrap icons. What we're going to be doing is adding a large print button by using a bootstrap button component along with a bootstrap icon. And before we get started, we can verify that the icon style sheet is already included in our head tag right here. So let's scroll down a bit to the part where we're going to be writing our code. And that's right here. So inside of this div tag is where we're going to add our button and icon. And the first thing we want to do is just add a regular button tag. Great, we'll now give this button tag a bootstrap class. So we'll use the class attribute and set its value to btn or button, btn again, dash dark. And what this will do is make our button sort of a dark color. And the next thing we want to do is specify the size of our button. So we initially said that we wanted it to be a large button. So we can write BTN again, dash LG, which is short for large. 
And if we refresh our page now, we should be able to see our button. Great, there's our large and dark button. We can actually remove the class attribute just to see what the button would look like if we didn't use any bootstrap. So you can see that our button just wouldn't look as nice if we didn't add the bootstrap component to it. So let's add that back. Okay, now we're ready to add our icon. For that, we'll need to use an i tag and we'll use the class attribute here as well. So we'll write class equals quotes. And here we wanna write bi space bi dash printer. Since this is a print button, and then we'll add a space, text, dash, info. Let's refresh our page and see what happens. Great, our button now includes a printer icon in the middle, and it's a little bit more clear what its purpose is. Lastly, let's add the word print to our button so it makes it even more clear what it's for. And we can write that right here to the right of our icon. Okay, let's refresh one more time. Awesome, now we have a great looking print button on our page. So now that you're a little bit more familiar using some bootstrap components, it's time for you to have some fun creating your own in the editor.